안녕하십니까? Today we are going to learn why the demand for blockchain developers has increased by more than 500% and in 2019. Before we get started, you need to understand one thing. Blockchain is not Bitcoin. And blockchain is not cryptocurrency. Blockchain is not Ethereum. Blockchain is not whatever coin you can think of. The problem with the blockchain brand is that it's related to the crypto space. And the crypto space is full of people that talk about coins and decentralization and tokenization and disruption and ICOs and all these people that are full of That's why the blockchain kind of industry has a bad reputation. But it's because people don't know that they're separate. What is a blockchain? A blockchain is a permanent storage of information that is secured thanks to cryptography and mathematics. Before you freak out, you need to understand that blockchain is just a new platform. For example, if you are building an application that requires face recognition and fingerprint recognition and GPS and camera, where are you going to put it? Correcto, on a phone. That is the right platform for that idea. Just like that, blockchain is just a new platform for developers to work on. You can make a website, you can also make an app for the blockchain or an app on top of the blockchain. It's just a new platform to work on, but the possibilities are unbelievable. To the part number two, which is who is hiring for blockchain. This data that I got, 500% increase on the developer demand is from a hired.com. Now, in my head, for example, if you have a permanent storage of information, you can, for example, you can also keep health records in a better place. You can also maybe keep university degrees or certification degrees in a more secure way. Like the, the possibilities are endless. Just like when the phones arrived, the possibilities became endless because now people can have a website on their pocket. Now the possibilities with blockchain are endless because now the information can stay still forever. What do you need to learn to become a blockchain developer? Now, the good news is that the companies that are recruiting blockchain developers are actually looking for people that are just comfortable with stuff like C, C++, Java, Python, JavaScript, and Go. So that means that use the most common programming languages. And this is because blockchain is not something that you do in only one language. Blockchain is like a concept. Just like, for example, backend. It's the same with the blockchain. A blockchain has also some concepts that you can implement on any language. So there is not like a specific kind of programming language that only blockchain developers use. No, because again, it's just a concept, blockchain development, to look into two things. One thing is Ethereum, which is a cryptocurrency, and yes, it's full of bullshit people, but also has something really cool called smart contracts and something called Hyperledger, which is a project, like an umbrella project, built by the Linux Foundation that is not focused on cryptocurrency, but is more focused on making applications, making solutions for businesses that require blockchain. So for example, they have something called Hyperledger Composer, Hyperledger Fabric, Hyperledger Iroha, Hyperledger Indie. They have so many different tiny applications. For example, Hyperledger Indie, it handles identity on the blockchain and it's already a project that you can use and deploy on the network of your business and with some configuration of course now you will be able to handle identity on a blockchain or for example if you work with hyperledger fabric you will be able to write smart contracts on javascript or golang and you can create transactions not of money but of whatever else you want you can create assets you can have an admin panel you can create networks all with clicks, it's amazing, 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 amazing what the Hyperledger people have built. It's basically like a Django for blockchain. Now the good news is that there are very few Hyperledger developers and that's also the bad news because the community is not so big but also the demand is super high and the supply is super small. And you know what that means. I hope that you got a little bit interested into the blockchain topic with this video. Let me know if you want me to talk more about blockchain. Let me know what you think about blockchain. Do you think it's going to keep going? Do you think that it's going to die? Do you think that we are gonna end up using it? Please leave a like, 
and leave a comment saying how much you like the video. Okay, don't forget, as always, eat the kimchi. Kamsamnida, bye bye.